This is the brand new Nissan Frontier Pro 4X. And with an as-tested price of over $36,000, it's way too expensive. It's also way too old, way too small, and with an MPG combined of 17, way too thirsty. But it's also way too much fun. Let me show you next on the Fast Lane Truck. Try this at home with your HD truck or even your Raptor. Oh look, I reached into the bat and pulled out a tripod. You know, there's a lot to be said for these small and tidy little trucks as compared to the massive off-road bruisers that most new trucks have become. More than that, because it's a truck and because it feels like a truck, it's a lot of fun let me fix that. It's a lot of fun to drive. It feels well screwed together. Every input is really honest. There we go. Now we're talking. Now the snows are flying. Oh. <laughs> I almost hit a tree, sorry. This here is a proper pick em up truck. You're looking at a four liter V6 that puts out 261 horsepower and 281 pound foot of torque. I mean, that is so much for such a small little truck. That's the good news. It also has none of them fancy fangle 10 speed transmissions. No, 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 no indeed. It has a five speed. And there's a big rock coming up ahead, which really tests the pickup because it's, uh, well, it's a big rock. <laughs> hey guys, check out the inside. Yeah, maybe not. This has been around so long, you know what it looks like. It's starting to feel very, well, late 90s, if I'm being honest. But there are a lot of good parts about it. You can get navigation. You can get the little backup camera with the beeping. Of course, it's all on a little tiny screen, which is also starting to feel a little bit dated. But this is a small and tidy truck. And since it's been around for so long, everything has been worked out. There are very few unexpected and unwanted issues you're gonna get with the Frontier if you buy 2015. <music> Aggressive tires, plenty of ground clearance, great approach angles, great departure angles, and not so, so bad breakover angle. It's everything you want in an off-road truck. Plus, look at over here, I've got hill descent, I've got a low range, I also have a lockable rear differential. These are the ingredients that make a truck unstoppable, and you've got it all here. Plus, you've got heated seats and even leather. All right, guys, let's talk. Ian, can you zoom a little bit? All right, you guys know this and I know this. This truck is well beyond old. There's a brand new Tacoma that's about to hit in Detroit. There is a completely new and redone Colorado and, of course, the stable mate, the GMC Canyon. So this truck is past its prime. But if I'm being honest, this truck is, well, the best word is honest. Here, you are in a proper truck. I mean, a proper truck. It feels well screwed together, it feels solid, and it just feels like a good old truck. I mean, there's just something great about having confidence that uh, it's gonna be very difficult to get stuck.
I started this review by saying it was way too small, but you know what? Being small is not all that bad. It means that you can get in and out of tight positions. You can actually park it, which you can't do with many of these so-called new mid-size trucks. And it feels, well, dare I say it, cozy. Come on, Robert. Now officially open. Overall, it's a really solid truck that's fun to drive and feels like it's really solidly built. Is it worth $36,000? Well, I'll leave that to you guys to decide. As always, this is Roman reporting for the Fast Lane Truck. Check out tfltruck.com for more news, views, and all sorts of truck reviews. Ciao! So here's a secret. Andre wanted us to get better shots of this because it was too easy. So he wants me to go over this rock again. But this time I put it in two wheel drive. <laughs> Just to get you some wheel spin going. <laughs> Alright, let me put it in four. Yay! <laughs>